What do you sell here? Uh, what drink? Coffee milk. milk. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay, like Vietnamese coffee. Yeah, very good. Very good. How much for one? You want milk? Yes. Uh, no milk. Just uh, coffee. Uh, twenty. Ten. Twenty. 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 Okay. Okay. Come. Come on. Uh. Uh, come on. Uh. Come on. Uh. Cheers. Cheers, guys. And welcome to Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. We are in Vietnam. And the coffee is strong here. We've just got ourselves an iced coffee. We're walking in a district called District 4. All of Saigon is, di is divided into a bunch of districts. I think it's 12 districts, if I'm not mistaken. And we have come, as I said, to the District 4. A district, as you can see here, full of food. Full of busy life on the street. Vietnam is obviously one of these countries that is so famous for its food. Street food everywhere we look. And this is what I'm out for today. The sun has just set. It's just gone about six o'clock. And I'm hungry. Let's go and find some food. All right, we've made it to the, one of the main roads of this little area here. And check it out. It is busy, busy, busy. Motorbikes everywhere, but somehow, there seems to be a strategy to it. There seems to be some kind of order to what on the surface looks extremely chaotic. My experience so far is that you simply, <coughs> if you want to cross, you simply just have to walk. And people would somehow stop. It's kind of like Moses opening the seas. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. So you see all the traffic here. I will literally just have to confidently walk through. Somehow, people seem to stop, even though it seems like when you're looking at them, they haven't seen you. But there seems to be some sort of order to it, as I said. Hello, how are you? That's the order to the traffic, to the chaos that unfolds you when you first land in this, in this country, in this city. I think the whole country is like this. It's absolute madness and I love it. Now, we're down another street here and I see lots of little food stands. So let's go ahead and get some food. Hello. Hello. What are you eating here? Uh, uh. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay. I see? Alright. Let's see what's happening here. There you go. Hi. Hi. Sit up. Huh? Hi. Sit up. Yeah, a little chair. Very tiny chair. Let's see, check it out. Here in Vietnam, everything Vietnam. is small. Oh. In Lao. In Lao. In Lao. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the tables here are just small and chairs as well. So you always sit on these. You can see over there on the other side. Hello. <laughs> you can see over there on the other side. There's a lady selling drinks, and her chair is always also extremely small. Literally, all places here are tiny chairs. Almost all of them. But yeah, this guy told me to wait. Let's see what he's gonna come back with. Good day. Here we go. Mm. You're back. Come to get <laughs> What is he finding here? What is this? Mm. You can speak English globally. I can speak English, yeah. Yes. You speak a little English? What are you drinking here? Hundred percent. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Can I try? Okay. What's the name? Name? No, the drink's name. Brunep is the name of this. What is this? Let's try. Oh, not bad. It's like a vodka. 
Vodka, ok, ok, ok It's like vodka Vodka đó Nhảy uống, nhảy uống vodka rồi I finish? Ok Vodka nó giống vậy đó Vodka nó thơm Ok à Come back Come on. Hey, that's how you say thank you in Vietnamese. <laughs> thank you. Come on. <laughs> what is it made from? Is it rice? Rice drink? Rice drink. It's a rice drink. Okay, it's like a rice wine kind of thing. So it must be like rice wine. That's a famous drink here in, in Vietnam as, uh, as far as I've heard. Vietnamese favorite alcohol. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Okay. This guy wants to get me drunk. Let's try. Ah. That thing is strong as fuck. It's not a hundred percent as it says on the bottle, okay. but I'm gonna guess maybe thirty percent? It's not as strong as a whiskey either or a vodka, but it's kind of the same taste as a vodka. It's good. Ah. Back in the day, this district here used to be regarded as one of the danger most dangerous hoods of all of Vietnam. There was a there was a gangster here called Cam Nam, something like this. Who ruled, <laughs> who ruled this area, this little district here. Very, very heavy-handed. He would basically interrogate everybody. He would rob from everyone, steal from everyone, and basically the Southern Vietnam Police, at the end of the day, had to call Northern Vietnam Police to come down and arrest this guy because he had infiltrated the whole of Southern Vietnam's police system as well. This is the story of District 4. Now, let's go and explore District 4 as it is today. Nowadays, it's not nowhere near as bad as it was back then. Cheers. Oh. I go food. Okay. Thank you. See you again. See you later. Okay. You watch out. Watch out with this stuff. It's very strong. <laughs> Don't drink too much. Let's head back up the street here. Where we saw all of these food places. There was some lovely food. Man, that stuff is strong. It doesn't actually feel that strong. But I think it's more than the 30% that I that I said. Or maybe it's just that I'm on an empty stomach. That might be it as well. Bloody hell. The traffic here is mental. It's kind of like India, but it seems a bit more organized than it was in India. Uh, yeah. I'm loving it, like, and there's food everywhere, drinks like this, here's another person selling coffee. Oh, damn, nearly made a bike crash there. <laughs> here's someone selling food, let's see what they sell. Hello. What are you selling here? 25. Can I have one? One? What is this? Let's see what he's doing here. Ah. Spring roll. Yeah? Can I have one? One for me? One food? This? For me. Yeah? Okay. I take seats. Alright. Look at this. Like these little tiny chairs, like this. It's all tiny tables, tiny chairs. It's like as if it's out of a. Out of a kindergarten, out of a Lego house. Yeah, this guy here is, seems to be making spring rolls. It looks like spring rolls to me. Some kind of dough. And we've got we've got bean sprouts. We've got I think it's basil over here. Uh, sausages and this sort of stuff here. As he's picking it up, it's kind of like a dough, I think. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I can't wait for this. It's so fun, like, just sit here, order random food that you have no idea what it is. Hopefully it's not dog. Yeah, yes. Chili. Spicy, so it's oil, I think. So this is what we're working with. Some kind of 
Oh, thank you. Gotta try my chopstick skills here. There's two ways to eat it. Yeah. Uh, the first one is you can pick one and then dip it in the sauce. Yeah. The second way is you can do all over this. Okay. Yeah. There's two ways to eat it. Okay. And what is the meat here? Uh, yellow. Uh, this is made from uh, uh, raw meat. Raw meat, yeah. Like pork meat or pork meat. Beef, beef meat or beef meat. sprout meat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one is a uh, raw beef. And what is this? Uh, it's made from um, rice flour. Rice flour. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before steam it in this. Yeah. And then uh, you can eat it. It's like. The paper for spring rolls. Yeah. Okay. So we dip here, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check out my chopstick skills, by the way. Oh. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. So it was. What did she say? Either beef or cow or something else. You said it's either this, that, or the other. Let's try it. We dip it in this chili thing here. Let's go. So it's chili oil. That's what it is. And then we have a bite. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's just like kind of like a Dan Dan I want the one. Huh? Dan I want the one. Show me. Oh Dan I don't know. Yeah? Go. Okay? Yeah. Ah yeah. Smart. Much better. All right, so we just soak it all in chili oil. Let's get a good bite here then. Good chunk. Check out these chopstick skills. So there's mint leaves and there's basil leaves. The green leaves here. The mixture that you put onto it. Let's try this sausage thing as well. Mmm. We got some fried onions, still fried onions there as well. But then we have this this thing here. Let's try that as well. Kind of chewy. That is so tasteless. It honestly tastes like it was just fried dough. I think it is finish this and we'll go find our next meal. What are you selling here? Yeah. What is this? Okay. It's like this is fun. Fun? That looks interesting. What is that? I think we're gonna have to try that. One? How much? How much dough? 50,000. Ah. Okay. Let's try that. He's got his broth soup here, and he's got the raw meat over there. Let's check it out. So we've got green onions, normal onions, chicken. What is this? Uh, pork? Pork? Like, yeah, okay. And beef over here. And then he puts it into a bowl, as you were seeing there before. And then this soup comes on top. That's boiling, boiling hot and basically cooks the whole thing. All right, let's try that. Pho. You say pho, huh? Pho. So pho is like Vietnam's most famous food. We spell it like this, pho. So pho. It's like Vietnam's most famous soup. It's like a noodle soup with beef and pork and chicken and all sorts of stuff in there. And then we've got raw chilies here and some lime over there. And we've got some chili sauce, soy sauce, oil, uh, oil over there. But the oil is already in that chili sauce there. We've got some toothpicks. We've got our chopsticks here. Let's go. So we have been served here, and yeah, I'm 
I'm a bit confused. Because this meat is still basically raw. Can you see? So like this meat is basically raw. So we gotta chuck that in here. We've got noodles. We've got some... Looks like a sausage or a meatball cutter. Looks very nice. And then, let me show you over here what we're working with. The secret ingredients. Just like in the other place there before, lots of, uh, lots of leaves. But let's get some of that in there as well. Get some lime in there and everything, all the good stuff. Because this meat needs to cook some more. Otherwise I'm gonna get shit tomorrow. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not planning to do that. Let's go ahead and give it a go. A bunch of noodles. Got a piece of, I think that's the beef here on the back of my, uh, of my chopsticks. That's not bad. That's not bad. I tell you what, like, it's like, it's kind of like a, I think it's basically still raw. Let's try a little bit of a bite of this chicken. No, no. I'm gonna get salmonella if I need it. <laughs> the stuff they eat here, it is crazy. Some soy sauce. Let's get some of the chili in here as well. But man, the stuff that these guys eat out here, it is a whole nother world, as I've said. Raw this and raw that and fish balls and eyes and pig's ears I've seen as well. We'll try and see if we can find some of that. I've seen that the other day, the first couple of days as I've just been walking around here. Let's try this thing as well. What the hell is this? That is so weird. Is that like liver or something? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? This has got to be one of the dodgiest things I've ever eaten. Man. The meat is still half raw, especially the chicken, and that like intestine sausage or whatever it is that's cut off looking like a star. This seems like, this feels like I'm just eating diarrhea coming tomorrow. Man, I think I'm gonna capitulate here. With this last bite, I'm not daring to eat much more of this, to be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> man, the things I do for these videos, man, the things I eat, it is absolutely mental. That, as I said, it's gonna be some of the dodgiest food I've ever eaten. I think that calls for a beer. I see a bar right here. Let's get a little break with a beer, set on the stomach, before we move on. Once again, walk across here. Hello. Again. Beer. A beer. Yeah. Yeah. How much one beer? Hello. Inside. Hello. Okay. One beer. Let's have a beer with the lads here. Hello. Uh, so, Your shop. Hey. Your shop. So we've got a whole load of beers here. Saigon beer. A couple of different versions of the Saigon beer. Can, can, can. Yeah. Can, uh, which one is the best one? I love this one? Good? Yeah. yeah. Seems like we just help ourselves here. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. One beer. We'll try one of those. One beer. There we go. That's it, mate. Thank you. Cheers. What do you say in, in Vietnamese when you go? Cheers? Yeah, yeah. In Vietnam? Yeah. What? Huh? Wah. Wah. Okay. Wah. Cheers, man. Han? Han Wah. Han Wah. Han Wah. Han Wah. Han Wah. Okay, let's try this Saigon beer. The local beer here. The local Italaga. Gold medal brew. Saigon beer. Let's try it. That's a standard 
beer. Standard Heineken, Carlsberg, that type of beer. Your shop? Oh, okay. So this lady here is the owner. Where are you from? Denmark. And you? Where are you from? Big Saigon? Saigon. Born and raised Saigon. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. What's your name? Sebastian. Cheers. My name is Sebastian. What's your name? What's your name? That's it. Okay. Let's finish this beer here with the guys. Cheers. And then we're gonna go and hunt for another dish of food. What's your name? My name? Sebastian. I'm Willy. Willy. Okay. What are you eating here? Oh, very good. Ah. Okay, yes. I should try? Um, okay. Let's try this. What is that? We'll just try it. Tastes like tofu. Tofu? This is an adventure. <laughs> Very good. It tastes like kind of like tofu or, or egg whites. I don't know what it is. This is like walking around, just eating stuff that I have no idea what I'm actually eating. Hence the beer. Now that we're already into our dirty food. Let's see what other kind of strange food we can find over here. I'm seeing more restaurants over that way behind me. That's it. I'm showing the guys the camera here how it works. They're very entertained by this little camera. What do you want to say? Cheers. There we go. What is this? You're getting handed another thing here. Sweet? Sweet. It looks like a sweet. Some kind of jelly bean kind of thing. But try it. Ah. Tamarind. This is like a sweet. Very, very good. It's like a dried fruit. I'm not sure what this fruit it actually is. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a date. Oh, this one. Another one. Interesting fruit here. What sort of fruit? Probably also gonna be sweet. This thing here. That's what it is. It doesn't help me much. Hey, hello. And you? Hello, you. Cheers. No, no. Hello. Yes. Is that for me? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Another beer. Now I have two beers. We still have to try this thing here. My name is very hard for these guys. Okay, let's try this thing. Hey, it's like rubber. What is this? More this. The other one better. The other one was much better. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like a dried out seaweed. Oh my god, it's bad. That's really bad. Oh, horrendous. That calls for a beer. I have no idea how he likes that. 
This is turning out to be more of a drinking video than an actual food video, isn't it? With the Saigon beer and the rice wine. <laughs> and some dodgy, and some dodgy food. Hello. Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. CEO. 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 Sebastian. Sebastian. Yes. Yo yo. Exactly. Hello from Vietnam. Hello from Vietnam. <laughs> Nothing like a few beers to stabilize the stomach, eh? Now we're on for the next and probably the last dish of food for tonight. Another mission of crossing the street is up. Now we're uh, what? Three beers in and a couple drinks of that like rice, wine, vodka kind of drink, whatever that was. Let's go ahead and cross the street here. Just walk across. There we go. It's easier than it seems like. I see lots of food around here. Check it out. We've got a restaurant here, all full. We've got another one over there. We've got another one over here. That one is not so full. We've got another bunch all the way up here. Let's see what we can find. What do you sell here? I'm fine. What is this? Clams. Uh, Seafood, it seems to be like. Snails. Okay. okay. Noodles. 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 All right. Menu. 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 Let's see a menu here. This place is full. Check out this guy over here. <laughs> that is a funky man, funky motorcycle. All right. Well, you just take a seat, I guess. This is Vietnam. Tiny tables, tiny chairs, and a big menu. What are we going to go for here? I'm not quite sure what uh, the system is here. So we've got one food, all this kind of food here. And I'm supposed to write something down on this piece of paper. Let's see. Can I have this one? What am I supposed to write? This one here. I haven't got a clue what I'm ordering. But we'll see what it is. Uh, I don't know. Let's try... I'm hoping that it's satay like in beer, like in Malaysia, like some kind of peanut paste, uh, spicy soup. Okay? And Saigon. Beer Saigon. And another beer. Then at least beer. Saigon beer. One. And one, uh, one this nurong sate, this one, okay? One. Yeah, this one nurong sate. One, one this, one beer. Okay, very good. Let's see what's gonna turn out here. <laughs> I'm going completely off this photo. What would you say this photo looks like? To me, it looks like a. Judging by what I saw over there by the guy, it looks like a seafood type of thing. Most likely. Most likely a squid. Bloody hell. Vietnam, I love it. This country is. This country is going right into my heart on the first couple of days already. So let me tell you about. Let's serve the beer first, then I'll tell you. Ah. So let me tell you about the plans for Vietnam. So basically, tomorrow I'm gonna catch a train up to Da Nang, where I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends, a guy who lives in Da Nang. And after Da Nang, or in Da Nang, when I'm leaving Da Nang, I'm gonna pick up a motorbike, and I'm basically going to drive from Da Nang 
all the way to the north, to the Chinese Laos border, up in the northwest of the country, with a motorbike, three weeks, we're gonna go all over the country, we're gonna try and find all the beautiful spots in the middle of nowhere, little villages, towns as well, we obviously gotta go to Hanoi, we're gonna go to Hue, we're gonna go to these kind of places with the, the Vietnam War, we're gonna go down the Ho Chi Minh Road, and cross the mountains, and all the way up home, I'm gonna try and find snake to eat and snake to drink. There's this like snake vodka, snake rice wine, snake whiskey, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got copra snakes inside a drink. We're gonna try and find that. And we're basically just gonna explore Vietnam, the beauty of this wonderful country and its people. That's the plan for Vietnam. I really love this country. It is so fun. I have not been so out of my depth for a long, 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 long time. Basically since the first time I stepped foot in South America when I did not speak any Spanish. It's the last time I felt like this. A man walking around, lost in translation, haven't got a clue what the fuck's going on. What anything says. I just know Saigon is beer, Tiger is beer, and Bowl is beef. But yeah, I'm excited to get stuck into Vietnam. Let's see what's gonna turn up here before we end this video. So food has been served and I was correct. We are looking at octopus or squid, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna get some chopsticks here. We've got some cucumber. We've got some sort of what I expect to be a spicy sauce of some sort. Let's dive right into it. Let's dip it in and let's have a go. Wow, now we're on another level. Now we're not eating something dodgy. Now we're eating something that's really, really good. Oh my God, that is spectacular. Have a look at this. Again, check out my chopstick skills. Even when I'm drunk, I can do chopsticks. Rate my chopsticks down below. This is spectacular. Oh my God. <laughs> That is amazing. And they know how to grill this squid here. It is not like, if you've ever tried squid before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like squid, if you don't know what you're doing, squid very quickly turns into a piece of chewy rubber. We've got, this time we've got a hot beer with a glass of ice. I think I prefer just the cold beer. But as far as I understand, this is pretty traditional in Vietnam that you can just get a hot beer and a glass of ice. But it ends up turning into a watered-down version of beer. I'm not sure what I feel about that. Back to the squid. If you don't know how to prepare squid, it very, very quickly just turns into a big piece of rubber, which you really, really don't want. But this, oh my god, this is spectacular. Let's have another go. There we go. Cucumber, chili sauce. Oh. I think Vietnam is going to be one of the best countries I've ever been to. The chili, food, the chili sauce is spicy. The food is amazing. The tiny chairs, the tiny tables. This is so fun. Check it out. Like everybody is out tonight. This is the hood supposedly in Saigon. My God, is it beautiful. Vietnam. What a wonderful country. Oh, check this out. We've got a flamethrower. It's all kicking up here. Oh, it's turning them off in the in mouth. The hoods of Vietnam. We've got to come here. District 4, if you're in Saigon. See on this corner. I have no idea what this place is called. Just look at the tiny place. At a place with tiny chairs. Red tiny chairs. Oksu, I think it says over there on the sign. Oksu. Maybe that's the name of the place. But my god, it's good. <laughs> you're the lady who do a flame pro. How did you learn? How did you learn? No burning your throat. 
No. No? <laughs> there you go. That was the flamethrower lady, the lady right there. Just give her a little tip. That's impressive. Woo.